Hey what's going on guys, Chris here with another Battlefield 5 Weapons Versus, and today's video is going to be focusing on two pretty iconic World War 2 SMGs that actually have a hell of a lot in common with each other statistically in the game. One of those weapons is the German MP40, a very popular submachine gun produced in large numbers and issued to infantry in many different theatres of war. The other weapon is the Sten Gun, a pretty cheap but effective firearm that was produced for the British Army when weapons were in very limited supply. In Battlefield 5, the two guns feature a lot of the same sort of traits, and they even have the exact same set of specialisations, so chances are if you'd like using one, then the other's probably going to seem like a worthy choice to pick too. There's a very fine line between them, and to the average player, they're probably going to seem identical regarding performance, though the MP40 and the Sten Gun do actually have a few very subtle differences that might just sway a decision to choose one over the other. I'm going to be highlighting said differences, running over those stats to let you know exactly what the two SMGs have in common, and giving you all the ins and outs on how they're designed to be used in the game too. Let's get on with it. Now it probably won't surprise you if I say that the MP40 was chambered to fire the 9mm Parabellum round, a very common one to be used by German SMGs and pistols. Though it might surprise you when I say that the Sten gun was also chambered to use the very same foreign cartridge, despite the gun being made in England, designed to be used by the British Armed Forces. I guess you could say that 9mm ammo would have been fairly easy to come by, being one of the primary ammo types of the enemy. So this means that the two guns in Battlefield 5 pretty much have the same level of stopping power, and they're basically going to deal equal amounts of damage per bullet, being the same bullet. Up close within the range of 10 meters, both guns inflict the standard damage value of 25 equated over to a 4 shot kill, which is the typical sort of damage you'd expect to deal in CQC with most of the fully automatic weapons in the game. But 10 meters is the drop off point, and as your bullets travel further than this, they're going to start to decrease in power, dishing out weaker levels of damage, gradually getting lower and lower the further away they go. As this damage slopes off over distance, it's going to take more bullets to kill, to the point where it could potentially take up to 8 shots to drop another player, if said player is wandering around beyond the range of 75 meters. Damage is still going to keep dropping beyond this point, though it's not going to require any more bullets to kill beyond 75 meters, and so those shots are eventually going to reach the minimum damage of 13.2 at 100 meters, which I should probably say is way out of an SMG's comfort zone, and I highly suggest you don't go shooting at snipers at those sort of ranges, probably not the best thing to do. Both the MP40 and Sten are both on par with each other regarding damage, and because they both fire at the same rate of 540 RPM, I guess you could say that their kill times are also pretty much going to be the same too. 540 RPM isn't exactly going to cause your enemies to panic, being one of the slowest fire rates of all the submachine guns, and combined with that measly damage over range, neither the MP40 or the Sten gun are going to seem particularly impressive when you're talking about how deadly they are, with them both sharing the same negative factor of being a bit rubbish at putting players down quickly. On the face of it, the MP40 and Sten Gun are both seemingly going to have the exact same kill times, with that power and speed being identical. Though if you want to know a little secret, the Sten Gun actually kills a few milliseconds quicker, due to the fact that it's got a slightly faster bullet speed. Not enough to make any sort of noticeable difference whatsoever in general play, but a bit of trivia nevertheless. So there isn't a hell of a lot to compare really when looking at those damage stats, though when it comes to precision, both of the guns do have a few differences that are going to affect how they kick around and how they're going to perform. Without any specialisations applied, the base MP40's actually got a lower vertical kick reading of 0.42, whereas the Sten gun's got a little bit more with a value of 0.48, seemingly making the MP40 the more controllable option of the two. Because that vertical recoil is slightly lower, this means that your line of fire isn't going to drift upwards quite as much as soon as you start shooting, though just because the Sten has a higher vertical figure, doesn't necessarily make it a less stable weapon. The reason I say this is due to the fact that the Sten gun's not actually going to gain any extra recoil per shot fired, unlike the MP40, with a vertical increase value of 0.042. This might all sound a bit mind boggling, but it generally means that the MP40's upwards kick is going to get heavier and heavier the longer you hold down the trigger, so although its value is lower to begin with, extra recoil is going to stack with sustained fire meaning it'll be better suited for firing in shorter bursts as opposed to lengthy streams, whereas the Sten gun will handle a little bit better when mag dumping, due to it not gaining any additional recoil per shot. This nicely leads me onto that horizontal recoil, and just like with the vertical kick, the MP40 is going to be superior here, with a lower side to side recoil value of 0.175, making it a slightly more accurate gun, 
roughly having about 8% less horizontal recoil than the Sten. The Sten gun's slightly higher value of 0.19 can sometimes make it seem a bit less precise, especially when you're up against an opponent in the distance. Though I guess when you look at the bigger picture, neither of the recoil patterns are particularly bad, especially when you put them up against some of the faster firing SMGs in the medic class. Though if you are looking for a gun with the highest precision, the MP40 just about beats the Sten by a fine margin, having a slight edge. Of course, both of the weapons have access to the recoil buffer and porty barrel, reducing some of that vertical and horizontal recoil down to make them seem even easier to aim with. But because they both have the same specialisations arranged in the same format, these aren't exactly going to give any particular weapon an advantage over the other. Like I said in the deadliness section, the Sten gun's actually got a slightly higher muzzle velocity, with its bullets travelling at the speed of 495 meters per second, as opposed to the MP40's velocity of 455. This is an increase of about 8.4%, and although it's not a huge difference, it might make it sometimes seem easier to hit moving targets running around over those mid-ranges, potentially giving the Sten more usability against players further away. Now the MP40 and the Sten do have a lot of things in common. Another one of those things is the amount of ammo they can hold at any given time. The two guns can hold up to 32 rounds, they both use detachable box magazines, and because they deal the same damage per bullet, this means that you can typically expect to be able to take out a similar number of enemies per magazine, usually about 4 or 5 in CQC and probably less if they're further away. 32 rounds is adequate to get the job done most of the time, and because the two guns fire at a fairly slow rate, this means that it'll be a bit easier to moderate how many bullets you discharge, possibly making the MP40 and the Sten gun seem a little bit more efficient compared to a lot of the other submachine guns in the medic class. But despite having the same ammo capacity, there is a few differences to point out when looking at those reload speeds. The MP40 is going to be able to perform a tactical reload in 1.96 seconds, which is quicker than the Sten's tactical reloads taking 2.2 seconds. So if you decide to swap those mags over while there's a round still left over, which is probably most of the time, then the MP40 is going to be slightly quicker. But this is reversed when you look at the gun's empty reloads, because the Sten's going to be able to switch magazines around faster if you've used up all of those bullets, with a full reload taking about 3 seconds as opposed to 3.3, which is what the MP40 takes to reload its empty magazines. Because you'll be performing tactical reloads more frequently, the MP40's snappier tactical reloads are probably going to seem more useful in most cases, Though should you get yourself in an awkward situation, overwhelmed by enemy players, and just so happen to get carried away gunning them all down, you're going to be a tad less vulnerable with the Sten if you deplete your magazine. Both weapons also happen to have the quick reload specialisation too, shaving off a little bit of time and reducing them down by 15%. If this specialisation was to be applied to both weapons, the MP40 is still going to have the faster tactical reloads, with them taking 1.66 seconds as opposed to 1.87 and the Sten's still going to have the shorter empty reloads, taking 2.6 seconds as opposed to 2.8. This could potentially give one of the guns quicker tactical and empty reloads over the other, though because they've both got access to this specialisation, it doesn't really give any particular gun an advantage. So which gun should you choose? Whether it's the MP40 or the Sten, they're both going to play out in a very similar sort of way, in the sense that they're both fairly slow firing SMGs with decent accuracy values. And out of all the weapons in Battlefield 5, these are two of the closest guns statistically, with barely anything really differentiating their performances. But yes, although their differences are very subtle, they do exist, and this potentially makes one of them more appealing than the other, depending on who's picking them up of course. As the MP40 generally has the better recoil pattern, with both lower vertical and horizontal kick values, though the Sten gun's going to gain less recoil the longer it's fired meaning it's going to be better suited for shooting longer streams of bullets, whereas the MP40 will probably seem more precise, but only if you burst in your shots in smaller groupings. The fact that the Sten gun's also got a very slightly higher muzzle velocity also gives it a little bit more usability over further distances, out to medium range, and because it's not going to drift upwards quite as much with prolonged fire, it might actually make it seem a bit easier to use for the average player, who's just going to hold down the trigger and expect the gun to be able to stay on target. It'll be a tad more user-friendly when it comes to mag dumping, which probably won't be a problem for either of the two weapons in close quarter situations, though the MP40, despite starting up with a higher stability, will accumulate extra recoil the longer it's fired, lowering that stability more so than the Sten's, and this is more likely to push your line of fire upwards over your enemy's head if they're not close by. 
The two weapons don't exactly have drastically different recoil patterns, but these recoil characteristics and bullet speeds will slightly impact the way they're going to kick around, perhaps making this end feel easier to get to grips with, but the MP40 the superior option for precision. So long as you can keep its lower muzzle velocity into account and learn to burst its fire more often when you're engaging targets outside of the gun's optimal range. The only other big differentiating factor between the MP40 and the Sten is pretty much down to the way they reload, as they both have the same ammo capacity and both use detachable box magazines, though the MP40 has a faster tactical reload whereas the Sten has a faster empty reload. This enforces the Sten's use for mag dumping even further, as it's more likely to get you out of a sticky situation when you're out of bullets. Though you're going to be able to replace the MP40's partially empty magazines a little bit faster, potentially making it a more reliable option overall, because most of the time you're going to want to hit that reload button in between gunfights, making it overall the better tactical choice. Whichever weapon you choose, it's not going to be light years different than the other, though these little alterations are going to suit certain players more, possibly making one gun feel a little easier to use than the other, though at the end of the day I guess it all just depends on personal preference and which one has the better small differences for you. So that's pretty much it for another one folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to see more content in the future, and hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to see it. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be seeing you in that next episode.